Y'all doing all right? Yeah. Are we ready? Is Richard here? Who? Richard? No, he's in the hospital. Okay. Who sold his shed? Huh? Who sold his shed? I don't know. Okay. Well, I mean, this is Richard's house, right? And that's Richard's shed being taken away on a truck. Can you talk to them? Hey, guys. <laughs> Hey, where are you going with the shed? Back to Palm Harbor. Back what? Palm Harbor. Okay, why? You just bought it. Bought it from who? Uh, the dude that lives here? Yeah. Which dude that lives here? Some uh, guy. Okay. He's got. I got a bill of sale. It's like five hundred. Okay. Is the guy's name Richard? Uh, black dude. No. Because uh, this this house belongs to a white dude named Richard and his grandmother. Well, the dude sold me the shed. Gave me a bill of sale. Like, okay. Well, I mean, if it's stolen, it's stolen, right? It doesn't matter if he gave you a bill of sale for it. I didn't know if it was stolen. No, okay. No. Well, that's what I need to find out before you go driving off with it. Because because the guy who owns this house is not some black dude. All right. Okay, so if some black dude sold you the shed, then I need to figure out why. Okay, do you have your ID with you? Yes. Okay. When did you get a bill of sale from him? Yesterday when I bought it from him. Where did you meet him? Here? Here. Okay. Walked out the front door, like, dude, lived here. I got his phone number. And okay. Do you have the bill of sale with you? I, like I said, it's in my truck back in Palm Harbor. I forgot to grab him when I was coming here. Okay. Do you know his name? Uh, no. Like, I have a Craigslist ad and everything. A Craigslist ad? Yeah. Okay. You said you have your ID with you, though? Yes. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, if I could. All right. What's the uh, the garden room? It's a uh, my dad's company. Oh, okay. So company. you're just helping out your buddy. It's yes, not related sir. to the business. Yep. Okay. How long have you guys been here? Like Thirty minutes. Man. Okay. And you have no idea who this guy is. It was just a he, Craigslist ad. Yeah, Craigslist. Is he here today? No, he was here yesterday. I told him I wasn't able to pick it up today because I I couldn't get the equipment because uh, it's a company equipment, you know. Right. And so I told him I'd be able to pick it up tomorrow. He's like, well, you got to meet me today because I'm going to get ready to go uh, visit my family. I'm right. Like, All right. Showed up here, came outside, looked at the shed, paid okay. 150 bucks. And now, you gave this guy 150 bucks for this shed? Yep. And you didn't think there was something wrong with paying 150 bucks for a several thousand dollar shed? No, no people shopping. pay sheds 100 bucks all the time. We're on the I'll show you another ad right now for 100 bucks. I'm going to go pick up. Okay, do me a favor. Hang tight for a minute, okay? Let me figure out who this guy is that's selling you guys sheds. Well, hey this guys. falls into the category of maybe too good to be true in terms of the deal. Also, a live PD first with the shed. What I'm trying to figure out is what's the deal with the truck trailer and a shed being uh, taken away? I didn't even notice that. You didn't notice that giant forklift in the backyard of this house yeah, moving that shed? Man, store, I, so. hey, I got Were they already here when you guys got here? Uh, yeah. All right, where's Reese? I know he was here, and I know somebody was sneaking out the back door while I was out here. No, I was hanging up some That was you line. hanging up some stuff? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I could hear people going in and out. Okay, so who's who is Reese? No, no, sir. Does he live here? Cully fellow? Huh? Cully fellow? Sure. Cully? Yeah. I don't, I don't really know. I just know that there was one around here. Okay. Was he here today? We got a video camera. Yeah, right man. Now. That's, that's yeah. Right. So, so here's the deal. Oh. All right. I mean, obviously, I'm obviously that's a little. Kind of I get it. But this isn't about you, right? This is about Richards in the hospital and people are selling his crap out of his backyard. Oh, oh I don't know nothing about that. Right. So, so now that we're all on the same page. That's real. I don't know. That's well, what I'm trying to figure out. I would definitely start by they allegedly, the guys in the... Well, that's why I have their IDs and I've already talked to them, right? Yeah. But now I'm trying to figure out who, the, who the, the black guy is that they met here yesterday and gave 150 bucks for, for this several thousand dollar shed. I mean, I just priced some sheds not too long ago and those things... You know, I, they'll start at two, three grand. I'm, I'm about to say, I'm not that same pick me up. I, uh, I go to work every day. I really don't know. Like, okay. This, you, is, this is my good friend. Neither you guys live here? Yeah. No, Who's here that lives here? Because Jasmine just left, and I know she lives here, right? Yeah. So you guys just hanging out in the house? Yeah. yeah. There's nobody that lives here that's here? No, she's It's a little weird, right? No, it's just chilling. There's nothing weird about that? Okay. How do, how do you guys know Richard? I don't know Richard. You, guys, you don't even know the guy who owns the house. Damn, why you gotta Why you gotta know the landlord? Why you gotta take all my take all my sunshine? No, but actually not. It's just a good okay. friend of mine. All right, do you guys have your IDs with you? I do not. Do you not have an ID, or no, you not have I it with you? Lost it. You just, just lost, lost it. it. Yeah. Yep, I just I just got out of jail. And that's um, why I lost it. Is there anybody else close by?
What's your first name, bud? Great hat to be wearing when the police uh, come on over. There was a shed being moved out of the back of the house, the forklift. House has some previous history, drug activity, whatnot. When we get here, neighbor starts pointing at it, and we see him coming around the corner. So we stopped him. I uh, had a quick talk with him. He was willing to hang out for a little bit so we could figure out what's going on. I was able to get a hold of the homeowner who's in the hospital who does not know anything about his shed being sold. So right now you have somebody who's fraudulently selling his property off. So they're going to put the shed back in the backyard. They have no rights to take it. And we're going to try to get a hold of the homeowner again tomorrow or the next day when he's out of the hospital to get some more info. So right now you've got two victims, the guy whose property it is and the people who are giving money to somebody who has no rights to, to sell it. So we're going to hang out for a little bit while they unload the shed, try to get it back to where they got it from. Um, kind of everybody loses out except for the guy who walked away with 150 bucks. So, yeah. Once again, no shed like that's going to cost 150 bucks.